Hey YouTube people, I have been able to get my hands on the Surface Book 15 inch with the 1060 GPU and also the Surface Book 2 13.5 inch with the 1050 GPU in it. So I of course want to compare the thermal characteristics of these two and the first thing I'm going to do uh, is a test that's completely unrelated to uh, the graphics cards in these machines. We know the 1060 is way more powerful than the 1050, but what we don't know is this particular machine has a fan in the base, not to mention it, or sorry, not the base, the uh, clipboard portion, where the 13.5 inch does not have a fan. It's a passively cooled uh, device uh, in the clipboard. So I kind of wanted to see what package TDB, TDP could be uh, sustained in either of these devices. So in order to test that, I've loaded up uh, Prime95 and I'm going to run a test on both of these using small FFTs, which should use a lot of power on the CPU. Hopefully we can see if there's any package power differences. So as we've kind of learned with all these new Intel chips and looking at Surface devices in the past, we know that a major indicator of how much power a computing device has is how, much, how many watts it's actually utilizing. Uh, if it can't maintain a large amount of watts, it can't convert the, that watt into work. So right now the package TDB, TDP at idle on both these machines is 2 watts. It's actually the exact same uh, CPU in both of these. But let's go ahead and start our Prime95 sequence and see if we can see any package differences. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're loading all eight threads on the CPU. And we see that the package TDP on both of these goes to 31 watts very quickly. And also the uh, core frequency between the two, the 13 inch is actually higher than the 15 inch there. But the biggest number to look at is this 30, 30 watts. So 30 watts on both of them. You can see that both of these are throttling, so uh, they're probably set up not to exceed a certain power envelope. The question is, is this fanless device going to pull down the TDP quicker? Well, 25, 25. Temperatures on the 13.5 inches about 90 degrees Celsius where it's only 79 over here on the 15 inch so it definitely runs cooler on the larger chassis with the fan which is running but it is super quiet probably quieter than any other surface device I've ever worked with but that said that package TDP is already throttled to 25 watts on both of them so unless this pulls down further to something like you know 10 11 watts at some point uh, they're acting pretty much identically so one of the major oh we might be seeing a difference here so the core is now throttled down to 1.6 gigahertz after about a minute and a half and it's using 12 watts the 15 inch version is still running strong at 25 watts so that is definitely a big difference so you can see it's stepping down that as time goes on this one stepped down just for a second, but it seems like it's maintaining that 25 watts pretty admirably. And even though this is fairly hot at 82 degrees Celsius, it's nothing to worry about.
for anyone who does something like maybe uh, video encoding, uh, you know, processor intensive tasks might be weary of this test or might have, have to think twice between this 13 inch and this 15 inch device because there's definitely a pretty large performance difference here. So the the TDP is creeping back up to oh, creeping back up to 17, and this one is now pulled down to 18 watts. Really interesting stuff here. So the 13.5 inch throttles harder but then creep has been creeping back up. The 15 inch throttles a little bit slower, but still ends up at the same 18 watts, 18, 19 watts. That is quite interesting. Now the, the 15 inches back up at 25 watts for a second there. And this is going back down to 12 watts. So you're going to get, basically you're going to get more work done on the 15 inch even though they have the same exact CPU. Now I don't know if, if this is going to make a difference but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways. I'm going to come down here and right now we're on the balanced power plan. I'm going to adjust that on both of these devices to go to high performance, best performance mode. Now I don't know if that's going to change anything. Okay, maybe it did. That upped the package TDP back to 25 on this 13 inch and on the 15 inch as well. So that's an interesting result. I doubt that this will be able to maintain the 25 watts, but the 15 inch might be able to with its fan. Very interesting that changing that power setting actually had some amount of control over the package TDP. I did not expect that. Usually that's kind of coded into the BIOS, but Intel and Microsoft are so in bed together with the hardware and the software on this thing that it's uh, really difficult to to tell the difference. Okay, so here we go. The 13 inch, even with the power plan set higher, is tapping out at 14 watts. The question remains is if the 15 inch can maintain a 25 watt TDP Dip to 21, but it seems like that might be kind of sustainable. But despite the despite the power plans, um, the 15 inch can definitely push more work through than the 13.5 inch can. So I'm going to let this run and kind of see if it reaches equilibrium or if it's going to keep flipping around. Okay, so I think we've basically reached equilibrium here. Um, you can see that on the fanless 13-inch device, it 
kind of spikes and ebbs as it goes through. It's able to maintain by itself around 14 watts while sometimes creeping up to 18 or so. Um, but the 15 inch with, that has the fan is able to maintain uh, 25 watts or well they all they both went you know they peak at 35 but once they actually start throttling down they're able to ma maintain about 25 watts before creeping down to uh, looks like 16 eventually on this one but this is a much more consistent performance result over here on the 15 inch device and uh, one thing to keep in mind, these are 15 watt processors and they're advertised as such. So what we're seeing is even, you know, they're 15 watt CPUs, but I mean, this one's able to maintain 25 uh, for a long time before even falling down to that 15. It took about 10 minutes of sustained workload to fall down to that. And my guess is it's gonna pop back up here in a minute. Uh, to a higher TDP. The 13.5 inch is able to maintain about 14 and <laughs> it is funny I'm saying that while this one is showing a higher TDP than that one but overall this kind of fluctuates a lot more and in lower frequencies than the 15 inch one does but uh, both of them are able to sustain the 15 watts that they advertise it's just that they they peak higher and uh, the 15 inch is way more consistent. So really interesting results here. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, slogging through this long video. I just think I just think these things are really interesting. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. I'll do some more uh, comparisons, specifically some gaming comparisons on the Surface Book 2, 15-inch and 13.5-inch devices. And once again, thanks for watching.